students in this video we are going to see basic system properties invertibility and inverse system. So basically, definition of inevitability is this system should give you distinct outputs for distinct inputs. What is the meaning of this? Let's represent this diagrammically. So suppose a signal is there given to one continuous time system to get an output. Let's consider x of t by input passes through a continuous time system to get output which I will represent as say WT and this output I am passing through one more system WT I can say uh, output from the system which we can say it's YT also so YT will drive one more system to give uh, another output this time the system should take care that whatever the input it will give it should able to produce the same input as it is meaning after passing y of t through this inverse system, we should be able to get x of t. So what is happening for a one kind of a input x of t, I pass through a system, I got some intermediate output that should be passed through an inverse system to get a signal itself. So this will be the output, nothing but the input. So I can say after passing through this system, original input is gathered. So what happens sometimes we have one particular signal and let's take an example uh, where uh, I'm having a signal which is a continuous time and that is passed through A to D converter so that it will be converted into a digital and that we pass through some digital process DSP digital signal process and that whatever signal we get in the end we should be able to reproduce the same signal which has passed over here which is x of t but because I need to use a DSP for a better efficiency and accuracy I convert that into digital signal through this block so DSP will perform all the necessary procedures on the digital signal but in the end I should able to get a same continuous input signal so over here I need to use DSC which will convert a process signal so what we want in the end it should give us a signal 
which is same or correlated with the input signal only. So this can be considered as a system with the inverse system. Let's see one more example. Let's mathematically consider an example of uh, y of t as 2x of t. Now, x of t is the signal passed through a system to get y of t. That y of t need to be passed through an inverse system in order to reproduce x of t. I repeat, x of t is the input signal passed through the system. So what system is going to do? System is simply going to multiply the input signal. So we will get a y of t like this. And this y of t need to be passed through one more system, which will give the signal w t, which should be half y of t. So if I do this, in the end, w t will be half and y of t is 2x of t. 2 to get cancelled in the end, w t will reproduce x of t. So I can consider this system will be having an invertibility property. Let's take one more example in discrete time domain. So suppose the system is like this, y of n is summation k from minus infinity to infinity x of k. So logic is this, x of n is passed through the system which will give you y of n and that need to be passed through one more system in order to reproduce a original signal x of n. I repeat, x of n is the signal passed through this system. The job of this system is to get this value summation ranging from minus infinity to infinity x of k. So this will give you y of n. And now I need to produce this signal once again, which can be done simply by having a system in place which will do this y of n minus y of n minus 1. So if you do this, in the end we will get a wn which is equal to x of n. So the given system is a inverse system. Let's take an example where system will not be considered as a inverse. So example is this y of t equal to x square t. So now what will happen? x of t is there path to the system which will square the signal. So x of t is the input signal, job of the system is to squaring the signal. Now from this if I have to get an original signal, I need to do the square root. So system will have wt as root of phi of t. So the problem over here is this root of phi of t will give you two signals because root of any number will always give you plus and minus signals. So over here we will get one signal which is x of t and another signal is minus x of t. So the problem is that now we are getting two outputs. Hence I can say we are not getting a distinct output for a distinct input in this case. Hence this system cannot be considered as 
in our system. So the definition of inverse system is that for a distinct input, I should get a distinct output. This is what a invertibility and inverse system. Thank you.